Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm in Sydney at the seminar series for 2011 with the National Herbalist Association of Australia. And I've got Roxanne Fagan with me who lives in the Hunter Valley who's a member of the National Herbalist Association and is practicing in health food shops. Hi Roxanne. Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Can you tell me, do you enjoy practicing in health food shops? Uh, well, it's a little bit different to sitting down and doing consultation. Um, it suits my lifestyle at the moment because we're doing a lot of travel mm -hmm. and I can't actually commit to being in a clinic situation. So um, I do work for a naturopath, uh, which is really good because, of course, he understands, um, you know, how important it is to treat people properly. And people can actually book in for a consultation there. So it's good. But we just um, help people as they come in with their issues on the floor, unless it's something that really does need a sit-down consultation. Excellent. Now, um, when we were talking earlier, you mentioned um, Staphylococcus aureus and infections and that that's one area where you feel really comfortable working. Well, I just seem to attract <laughs> Staph <laughs> infection for some reason. Um, and I have found that I've had some success in treating Staph. Mm -hmm. um, doctors quite often give them antibiotics and it does nothing. It just seems to make it worse because it knocks out the immune system. And I've found that I make creams and I make um, immune formulas and the combination of the two uh, seems to help knock it on the head. Okay, so what specific herbs would you recommend? Well, I mix and match a bit too. Um, I must mm. say I add other things. I, have, I am a herbalist, but I do use a little bit of homeopathic staff mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, I go with golden seal, uh, calendula, and I add a bit of lavender sometimes. Great. I, I always put it into a vitamin E base. Excellent. And um, sometimes I also use colloidal silver because mm -hmm. I find that works well too. Um, golden seal, hydrostasis canadensis, could you tell me why you use that herb in there? Um, it's uh, sometimes with the infection there are open wounds mm -hmm. and I find that that helps to heal and seal and um, it's very good for any sort of open wounds. Great. Very and good for infection. And lavender? Uh, I use the lavender sometimes. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely herb to use on the skin as well, but um, it's a gentle soothing herb and it also, it, it smells really nice. So yeah. I, I, just, I mm. just have an affinity with lavender and, and I do pop it in if I feel that mm. um, it will help. Great. And of course calendula, which is a brilliant uh, skin herb. I use that a lot, especially with children. Excellent. Now you mentioned mm. immune boosting herbs. Do you give them internally? I do. Great. Um, now with mm. that, I just go with the echinacea and um, just trying to think what else. I astragalus, mm. um, echinacea. Just depending on what the person's issues are. Yeah. But definitely the echinacea would be the base immune herb. Great. Thing. And now, how long have you been a member of the National Herbalist Association? Uh, I joined as a student. I'm a late bloomer. I didn't start mm -hmm. my herbal medicine until uh, 2004 when mm -hmm. I started my studies and I became a, uh, a, a student member. So I've been in the National Herbalists from then till now. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And that, thank you very much Roxanne for your time thank and you. I hope you enjoy the seminar I series. will. I always do. Great. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>